Hi guys, my name is Barry and welcome back to the channel. I'm finally back from Manchester for For the Love of Horror 2023 and I say this every year that each year just gets better and better and this year is no exception. In fact, this year blew last year out of the water. I think the reason being is because of the full weekend experience. Um, I only went to For the Love of Horror for the Saturday this year but I still had a good experience throughout the entire weekend. On the Friday, I went to see Thanksgiving, which was a UK exclusive. So we were the first people in the UK to see the movie. So it was like an advanced screening. And that's all thanks to Sony for inviting us over to this screening. It was amazing. We got these. Um, we had to wear these at the beginning just to get our photographs taken. Uh, again, it was a great experience. Just seeing a movie that no one's seen before in the cinema and getting to experience it with like-minded people because most of the people, if not all of the people in the audience, were going to go to For the Love of Horror. And it, it was an association with For the Love of Horror as well. So we got to chat early on. Instead of waiting to the Saturday morning, we all got to chat on the Friday night, have a few drinks, have a few laughs, and talk about the movie as well. Now, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the movie in this video. I do have a Thanksgiving movie review that's coming out shortly. There was a few known faces at the premiere. You had Elliot Furman from Terrifier 2 was there, and also Sean Clark was there as well, the... The thing with two heads on YouTube and he's also associated with some of the Halloween guys as well. So it was cool to see a few familiar faces at the premiere. I went with my friends and I saw a lot of influencers there as well, a lot of YouTubers that I said hello to throughout the night. So that was a great experience for the first night on the Friday night and we obviously had to get up nice and early in the morning. Um, so, well, I tried to make it not a late night but I think I was up to like two in the morning on the, the Friday night. I was talking to Darren from the Slaughtered Lamb Movie Podcast. I was there with Darren all weekend. So we got chatting there as well. And again, we just chatted through the night until we realized it was two in the morning and we had to get up really early. So Saturday morning arrived. It was the morning of For the Love of Horror, which was my most anticipated morning because I love this convention. I've been to a few different conventions, but I just think For the Love of Horror was or is always the best one. Now, I brought my gimbal with me because I, I was going to do a lot of photographs and a lot of uh, video footage going around the stalls and speaking to people. But just like every other year, I forgot. And when I didn't forget, I just couldn't be bothered to bring out the gimbal. So I'm really sorry, guys. All I have is some photographs, which I'll show you throughout this video, but I've literally got no video footage whatsoever. I got there nice and early with my friends, Rob and Shane. Those are the guys that I go with every year. And we met up with Rob and Shane's friend, Steph, who was a really nice girl. And I met up with Darren later on because Darren likes to get his sleep, so he didn't come till later on. So we all just mingled around and I had... Well, I initially had one person booked to get a photograph with, and that was Lauren Lavira from Terrifier 2. She plays Sienna in Terrifier 2. That was a great experience because she follows me on Twitter. I follow her on Twitter. So it was good to see her face to face because she was fantastic. Probably the best thing about Terrifier 2. So it was really nice to see her. She's absolutely amazing. And I got an amazing chance to see... Kiefer Sutherland and Lou Diamond Phillips. Rob's friend, unfortunately, couldn't make it um, to the con and he gave Rob, very kindly gave Rob the the ticket to go and see Lou Diamond Phillips and Kiefer Sutherland. But it was a double, so they, he asked me to go in with him and I thought, why not? So I got to see Kiefer Sutherland and Lou Diamond Phillips as well. When I spoke to Kiefer Sutherland, I said hello to him and I think he initially thought I was from London. So he put on this weird Cockney accent and I think he was trying to impress me and he said, all right, mate. And I was like, mm-hmm, yep, I'm cool. Um, so yeah, Kiefer Sullivan's not as big as I thought he was. I'm, I think I'm maybe a little bit taller than Kiefer Sullivan. I'm not too sure. But yeah, great experience seeing those two because I wasn't expecting it. Throughout the day, I spotted a few of my friends from online, etc. I saw Chris, uh, aka Orange Grove, a few other people that I bumped into that I talk to online quite a lot and meet at the cons every single year. So it's always great to catch up with those guys because it's the only chance to get to see them. And I think one of my best experiences is always going to be people coming up to me and saying that they love my channel. They want to get a selfie with me. They want to talk about my channel, even give me some advice, tell me what they love about the channel, etc. 
that's the best experience for me. Yes, I love meeting the stars. Yes, I love meeting my friends for the, you know, once a year. But just seeing people coming up to me, I don't really know them personally, but they know me and they tell me that they feel like they've known me for all these years because they've watched me all these years. And the experience and the feeling that I get with when people come up to me and say stuff like that, it's absolutely unreal. Another great part about meeting all, all these people is I, I become friends with some of these people because they hang about all day and then they come to the after party. We all have a few drinks as well. So I think everyone feels a little bit better coming to the after party. I even bumped into Sean Clark again. He was talking to Darren. Got a nice little selfie with him and Darren. Um, it's just the experience itself. Not, not only do people come up to me and ask for selfies, I go up to them as well because there's some people that I recognise. I'm like, hey, how are you doing? and get some photographs with them. So it's, again, it's a whole great experience for the full day. Going on to the after party, I think that's where everybody loosens up because I do get some people come up to me saying, oh, I didn't really want to come up to you or interrupt you, but can I get a selfie, etc." I'm like, absolutely. But I think once they have a few drinks in them, they don't mind coming up to me. So I think the after party is even better because I do get a lot more people coming up and saying, hey, love your channel, etc." And like, that's great. And it's the same with me. I go up to other people because I've had a few drinks in me and we just get chatting. I mean, what I love about these coins is I get people come up to me and talk about films that nobody else knows about out with the horror community. There's this one guy from Ireland. Can't remember his name. I think he might be called Paul. I'm not too sure. Apologies if your name isn't Paul. But he came up to me and he's talking about the Amityville horror franchise and... He's talking about, oh, the Amityville Horror 4. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's the one with the lamp. And he's like, yeah, that's exactly it. And if I speak to one of my family members or somebody in the street or someone at work or whatever and talk about Amityville Horror 4, they'll be like, I didn't even know there was an Amityville Horror 4. Never mind a, a, an evil lamp in the movie. So it's just amazing talking to these people that know about these types of movies, like Paul, hopefully their name's Paul. Just talking about Amityville Horror, other th franchises, and knowing that we know what each other are talking about. I think it's quite funny having Darren next to me from The Slaughtered Lamb at these after parties because we get some people, like someone would come up to Darren and go, Darren, Slaughtered Lamb movie podcast, I love your channel. And then he turns around and notices me and he goes, Barry, Wolfman's got an arse. I'm like, yay. And then the opposite things happens as well. People come up to me and say, oh, Barry, Wolfman's got an arse, love your channel. And then they say, Darren, Slaughtered Lamb. And then they say, hi, hi, hi. So I think... Standing next to each other is great because we get to feed off each other, we get to experience each other's experiences. Last well, see the, the, the look in Darren's face when someone comes up to him and says, I love your channel. Just look at his face, you know, you just know that he, you know, he loves what he does and he's getting the rewards for it because that's what you want. You want you get you want people to be happy about your channel. You want to entertain people. And I think when you see them all face to face, it definitely works. I think all day I was looking for the guys that run the You Run podcast. They're, they're on Spotify, Apple uh, Music for their Spotify, eh, sorry, for their podcast, but they're also on YouTube as well. So Mark and Scott, they're the guys who are the main guys for You Run Podcast. I was looking for them all day. I couldn't find them anywhere until the after party. I found them at the after party, said hello to them, got a couple of selfies with them as well. Really cool guys. But after that, I did say to them, uh, let's chat again later on and I couldn't find them again so I don't know where you guys went but I only saw you one time but it was great that I managed to see you so I can get a, a little selfie with you that was always a good thing there was one girl dressed as Lola from The Loved Ones now The Loved Ones isn't even a popular movie in the horror community never mind any genre but it's always nice to see people dressed as characters from really obscure movies and I, I wish I didn't need to say that because The Loved Ones shouldn't be an obscure movie but we bumped into Lola from the loved one, so we had to get a selfie with her as well. There was this other person there that I could have sworn was Carla Gugino. You all know Carla Gugino. And I was like to my friends, she looks exactly like Carla Gugino. It's unbelievable. So I had to get a selfie with her as well because nobody would believe me that there was someone there that looked like Carla Gugino unless they saw a picture of her. And it turns out that this girl is actually a famous tattoo artist called Cavalier Tattoo. After the after party. After the after party. Myself, Darren, Shane and Rob, we all went back to the hotel. I think we got a taxi straight away just after 12 o'clock. And again, we just sat in the lobby in the hotel, had a couple of drinks, and we stayed up until about 3 a.m. almost, just chatting away about horror films. What a great experience. What a great bunch of guys as well. I wouldn't ask it for any other way with the guys that I hung about with because everyone there was absolutely amazing. And that's why we stuck around till about 3 a.m. in the morning. Rob and Shane, they were going to the Sunday... Um, 
for the love of horror. I kind of wish I went now because I just wanted to see a little bit more. But those guys went to the Sunday one. Myself and Darren didn't. We only done the Saturday. But rest assured, I'm going to be doing the Saturday and the Sunday for 2024. They are expanding it for next year. And I've already booked my tickets. I've already got my hotel. Everything sorted. There's going to be an after party on the Saturday again next year, as well as a closing party on the Sunday night. So if you haven't already booked your tickets for next year, guys, make sure you do the after party on the Saturday and the closing party on the Sunday. I probably won't drink as much on the Sunday because I'll need to leave on the Monday. Yeah, I'll need to leave on the Monday. I'm staying till I'm staying Friday to Monday next time. So yeah, it's going to be a longer weekend. Hopefully I meet a lot more people and if you haven't booked already guys, obviously get your tickets booked because they're selling out faster and faster every year. So I don't want anyone to miss out that genuinely wants to go because it's a great experience for everyone. So that was a lot to get through guys. Again, I wish I had more video footage for you or any video footage to show you because it was absolutely amazing. But if you've got any photographs that you want to share, please tag me in any of my socials. If you if you took any photographs with me, I know that some people were tagging me that got selfies with me. Absolutely amazing. But there was a lot more people that I spoke to and we got selfies with. So if you're watching this video, please tag me and show me the images because I love to see that. But if you went, guys, leave your experiences down below. Tell me who you met. Tell me what photographs, autographs you got. Just share your experiences like I've done today and we can get chatting about it. And as always, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you soon. Meeting adjourned. I'll be right back. What are you waiting for, huh? Coming to get you, Barbara. Everplane. Get in the cat. Ah! Ah! I want to look